What's up everyone, my name is Cody Engel, I'm a staff software engineer, and I enjoy making videos about the tech industry. So Amazon, they probably reach out to me about once a month about new job opportunities. And to start off, I just wanna to say to my manager and my colleagues, don't worry, I'm happily employed. I'm not looking to go work for Amazon or anywhere else. However, I am curious about how much money do software engineers at Amazon make? Not only that, I'm also curious about what benefits do they get at Amazon. So in this video, we are going to talk about the total compensation that software engineers at Amazon make, as well as what benefits do they get. Videos like this one, they take me quite a bit of time to plan out, research, really get you all of the good information that you're looking for. And so one thing that I will ask before we jump into this video is that you smash the like button. It'll tell the YouTube algorithm that it should promote this to more people. And so once the like button turns blue, we can go ahead and get into this video. All right, so the first level at Amazon, the L4, which is entry level engineers, they have a yearly compensation made up of a base salary of $123,000 per year. Their stock grant is $18,000 per year. Now, the way that the stock grants at Amazon work is they are backloaded. And so what backloaded means is your grants will vest slower initially and then quicker the closer you get to the end of your vesting schedule. So your first year, you will get 5% of your stock grant vesting. The second year, you'll get 15% more. The third and fourth year, you get 40% per year. And it's actually broken out to 20% every six months. So you'll get even more stock more frequently the closer you get to the end of your vesting cycle. It's a little bit confusing. If you have any questions about that, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to answer that a bit more in depth. So then the bonuses for the entry-level software engineers at Amazon are 20,000 per year. The total compensation at Amazon of an entry-level software engineer is $162,000 per year. Stepping it up a bit, when you become a L5 engineer at Amazon, which is a software engineer, you can expect your base salary to be $150,000 per year. Your stock grant will be $59,000 per year with a bonus of $13,000 per year, which makes your total compensation when you add it all up to be $222,000 per year as a software engineer at Amazon. Next up, you have the L6 software engineers at Amazon, which are senior software engineers they have a base salary of $163,000 per year, stock grants of $149,000 per year. Their bonuses, nothing too exciting. It's about $12,000 per year. And then the total compensation is $325,000 per year as a senior software engineer at Amazon. And then the last level that we will talk about at Amazon is the principal software engineer. It's the L7 level. So if you're kind of curious about what these different levels are, what to expect along the way. I actually made a video a while back talking about all of the different software engineering levels and how it applies to all of the different tech companies out there. So if you wanna check that out, I will annotate this video and I will leave a link in the description for all that information. Otherwise though, the principal software engineer at Amazon, they can expect to have a base salary of $169,000 per year. Their stock grants go way up to $422,000 a year. Bonuses, still nothing crazy when you think about some of the other tech companies out there, but it's $64,000 per year for a total compensation of $655,000 per year. Before we talk about the benefits, let's talk about what those bonuses are because I was a bit surprised by kind of how low they were. Usually as software engineers progress in their career, their bonuses will also increase, but they kind of, seemed pretty flat. Let's kind of talk about what those numbers mean. So these bonuses are likely signing bonuses. So Amazon offers a two year signing bonus where it'll vest over two years of time. If you leave before two years, you would have to pay some portion of that back. I myself, I don't work at Amazon. I have not done interviews with Amazon. I haven't really talked with the recruiters that much other than saying, hey, this seems cool, but I'm not really interested at this point in time. So I've never actually gotten all of that like insider information. And so if you work at Amazon and you would like to share some details about how the bonus structure works there, do you even get a bonus outside of the signing bonus? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to know, would love to pin that comment so more people can understand that. But that at least is my interpretation. It seems like at Amazon, your bonus is largely that signing bonus. And then after that, it's just your base salary and your stock grants. So let's talk about your benefits at Amazon. So they give you a 401k where they will match 50% 
of the first 4% of your base salary. This match, it vests over a three-year period, which is kind of unfortunate. A lot of tech companies now, they will just contribute to your 401k and it vests instantly, which is amazing because it means you don't have to worry about if you leave the company after two years, do you still have that grant? So that's one thing to consider if you're not planning on staying at Amazon for at least three years, that match may not mean too much. They also allow you to contribute to a Roth 401k, which is great for pre-tax or for post-tax benefit. And they also offer a mega backdoor Roth IRA. If you want to know what that means, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to create a dedicated video just to that. Amazon also offers health insurance, although they didn't give much detail in terms of what does the company pay for the premium. So I can't tell you too much other than you do get health insurance at Amazon but I don't know how much of the premium they cover for the employee. So just a quick comparison, companies like Google, they will pay 100% of the premium, so you get health insurance essentially for free outside of the deductible. So that's kind of what I mean in terms of, I'm not sure how much of the premium Amazon picks up. It could be 0%, it could be 40%. If you have an HSA through Amazon, they will contribute $500 per year. And then your PTO at Amazon, it starts off at 15 days, and then it's increased to 20 days per year, after your first year at Amazon. And then after six years at Amazon, you will have up to 25 PTO days per year. All right, so let's talk about some of the other benefits that you get at Amazon. So you get 10% off of purchases up to $1,000 per year. So that benefit, it caps out at $100 per year. They have a company shuttle and they also have a transport allowance. Amazon is a pet friendly workplace, so you may see some dogs running around the office. They also have free drinks and bananas in the office. Some teams, they also have a dedicated snack allowance. For maternity leave, you have 10 weeks with four weeks of paid pre-birth leave. Paternity leave is six weeks, although you must be at Amazon for one year to actually get that benefit, which is a little bit disappointing, but they at least offer paternity leave. Then they have gender neutral bathrooms. They will reimburse your phone bill up to $50 per month. They also have tuition reimbursement. And for that, they will prepay 95% of tuition and fees after you have been at the company for one year. This has some predefined max limit. I'm not 100% sure what that max is, but just be aware that there is a max. It's not 95% of like Harvard tuition, for example. All right, so one thing to keep in mind with this video is all of this information, these are averages. This is aggregated across all of Amazon, which is a global company. And so whenever you are dealing with that and whenever you are trying to get more precise numbers, it's always a good idea to check out those numbers for yourself so you can go to a website like levels.fyi. Heads up, they're not sponsoring this video, but you can run the numbers yourself and you can figure out what you can expect to make at Amazon. That is all that I have for this video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. I read every single comment and I respond to virtually every single comment as well. If you aren't subscribed already, be sure to click the subscribe button down below. Also click the notification bell. You will be notified every time I upload a new video just like this one. Also, while you are down there, if you notice that the like button, if it was blue before and now for some reason it's, it's back to not being blue, just go ahead, smash that like button until it turns blue. Again, it really helps out with these videos with getting them out there. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.